from Dog Trainer Crate to Quail Cage in just a few steps. Good tan yardening, everybody! We've been raising quail for about three and a half months now, and our setup outside has changed a good bit from our very first video where we talked about that starter quail setup that we were trying to create. But one of the things that we started with were some dog crates that we transformed into quail cages. And through a couple of trial and error pieces, I think we've come a really long way. And in today's video, we wanna to suggest to you that this is not only effective in terms of cost, but it also works quite well when it comes to someone who is getting started raising their own quail. So let's take a look at our dog crate to quail cage transformation and what we've done that's worked very well for us. Well, first I wanna talk about cost because that's really the reason why we would ever go this route of having a quail cage made out of one of these dog carrying crates, these dog trainer crates. We got this and all the cages here from thrift stores. This one is three feet wide by two feet deep and this is about two feet tall. And I'll get to the height here in just a little bit, but you can see we've got about six square feet in here. And the total cost for each of these cages ranged anywhere from $10 to $15. So a really nice size cage for only 10 to $15. I'll take you over to the other one and you can see it's the same size, basically the second one here. If you buy it brand new, you're probably looking at somewhere between 35 to $55. So it makes sense to go in and try to get these from the thrift store. But what makes these cages really nice is in order to transform them from the dog crate, the only money you really have to spend, well, we've got the money for the cage itself, and then we've got something to provide a waste splash. <laughs> He's really interested in checking me out, huh? You've got something for a poop guard or a waste guard here that you have to create, and then the bedding for this. And I'm gonna talk about both of those briefly. Now I'm gonna come over here to one of our smaller cages, our smaller dog crates that we've transformed. You can see a couple eggs there in the back that I gotta harvest. But we started out with this black plastic. Now the quail don't actually go after that black plastic very much, so that works just fine. But one of the challenges with the plastic is as the quail come in here and start digging around, it spreads up onto the plastic and it can pull the plastic down. So that's one of the downsides, one of the things we didn't like about the black plastic. And so our decision was really simple. What we decided to do is to come in here and we had some terrace board. This is five inch terrace board that we thought we could come in here and maybe cut this down to size. And then using just a few, well, I'll show you right here, using a few of our zip ties, we were able to keep it in place. It's really nicely, solidly in place and pretty inexpensive way to create a five inch splash guard. And you can see in here, that it, it's a nice snug fit. So we're not getting a lot of waste on the outside. In fact, this has been in here for a couple of weeks off to the side on this side, you can see there's not a ton of waste getting outside of these guards, these five inch guards. So this made perfect sense for us. And you can buy this stuff. You could buy the four inch if you wanted to for pretty cheap, but the five inch terrace board, a roll of 40 feet is about maybe $30. And so you can get enough from one of those rolls to do four of these larger cages. That's pretty inexpensive at seven or $8 a piece. So the transformation involves this shield, and I guess you could use a kind of flashing, but I think that would be a little bit harder. It'd also be sharper. And so I think this works really well. It's not sharp at all. And then under this layer of, of bedding that we have in here, we have a black plastic, solid black plastic piece. Now you can't just leave that black plastic there exposed because it's slippery and you don't wanna end up with splay leg or any other problems with your quail not being able to move around easily. And so that's where we start this deep bedding or this deep litter. If you've ever heard of that term for your quail, it's actually really simple. For us, we just use pine shavings. I know you can combine a bunch of different stuff for the sake of composting, but we just use these pine shavings and we create a thin layer of pine shavings in the base here. And so they can come in, they can enjoy themselves, they have plenty of purchase to walk around on. You can see that right there. They're, they're having no problem with their movement. And what happens is as they start providing waste onto here, you can see it spread around here just a little bit. We've actually added a fresh layer pretty recently, but that starts to build up. And what we learned very quickly was you can't allow that waste to build up very far without just coming in 
through the top is how we do it. We don't even open up the side and just dropping in some fresh shavings. And now the reason we do that is to keep the top surface as dry as we can. And that's especially important, keeping that surface dry is especially important to prevent poop balls or balls of waste from building up on their feet, which is something that can happen if you allow that mulch to get too wet, especially in the winter time, things can freeze and that's not healthy. So how often are we in here adding that mulch? Well, I would say every two to three days, we add a little fresh layer of mulch. Again, we spent too much time having to clean off their feet from those poop balls and that's not something we wanna do in the future. So again, we just keep a little bit of extra bedding in here. We just keep adding it as needed and we don't have that problem. Now with this terrace board creating that five inch guard for us, the depth that we can allow this deep bedding or deep litter to get to is probably about three to four inches before we have to change it out. And that's really about a month and a half, maybe even up to two months of time before we have to pull out the mulch. And when we pull it out, it's really simple. We just come in and scoop it out. We move the birds briefly, scoop it out. We keep the bedding that we scoop out in a box or in a plastic container, wherever you want to keep it. And that's the feathers, that's the waste, that's all the shavings. And that's going to go into our compost as the temperatures outside warm up. Now, I think one of the questions you might have about this method involves the height of the cages. And I mentioned earlier that I would talk about that. This is about 24 inches tall and these quail are not that big. And so if they get really excited, it's possible they could try to fly up and hit their little heads and hurt themselves on the top of this cage. But one of the things I can say about our quail is they're used to us. They see us all the time. And I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean here. I can reach my hands in here and they'll move around, of course. They'll move away from me for the most part, but they're not shocked, they're not startled, they're not trying to fly up and hit their heads up on the cage top. So as long as you're around your quail, I don't really think you'd have a problem with them trying <laughs> to jump up and hurting themselves. Now, unlike our Winola Ranch cage where we have the rollout you know we have some space for the eggs roll out we don't have that in this cage so i guess one of the questions might be you know is it a problem with the eggs being laid in here and i can tell you because we are opening up the side here and we've got two in there so far out of the six we're expecting because we can open up the sides and get in here really nicely and easily and every part of this cage even the two by three foot cage is reachable and access to these eggs, oh, I missed this one. Access to these eggs is really simple. And we've had absolutely no problem getting in here and collecting. This cage has seven birds in it. We've got six hens and one roo. And this cage has 11 quail in it. And these are young. We haven't actually sexed these quail yet. So we'll see what that ratio becomes. But I would say a cage this size is easily able to handle a dozen quail. So if you're somebody who's thinking about raising quail and you don't want to spend $100 on a cage that's specifically made for quail, or you don't wanna make your own yet, well, this might be a great option for you. It's certainly an inexpensive option, especially when you factor in the upcycled feeding, upcycled watering elements that we have in here, in addition to the minimal costs and the benefit of having the compost that they're providing to us we think this is a great setup, and even though initially we intended it to only be temporary, it's working so well, I think we're gonna keep it longer term. Well, we hope you enjoyed this video today, and if you did, don't forget to give us a like, leave us a comment, remember to share and subscribe, and most importantly, remember, when you're with us, you are good to grow.